Coming up on today's Panther Beat, we hear what happened during spring break. And we take a deep dive into the history of Easter. Your Panther Beat starts now. Hello Panthers, I'm Carson Malone. And I'm Vincent Holly, and this is your Panther Beat for Thursday, April 13th. Hey Vincent, what did you do over spring break? Uh, I played Pokemon. And I studied for the SAT. So how about you, O'Fallon? Let's see what your plans were. Hey Panthers, today we're with Jackson Sable and we're wondering what he's doing for spring break. For spring break, I'm going to Miami with Tarte Beauty and Alex Earl for a sponsorship. Wow. I know. Um, for spring break, I'm going to Florida with my friends. Um, I think I'm going to hang out with my best friend, Chris Brown. First, I got to pick up my girlfriend, Ariana Grande. And also, also, we're going to Disney. Oh, wow. Thanks, Taya. Freshmen, sophomores, and juniors, check your email to cast your vote for next year's student body president. OTHS is hosting an international fair on Wednesday, April 26th. All students, faculty, and staff are invited to share their family heritage and culture. See Mrs. McGee to learn how to sign up. Seniors, if you did not pick up your cap and gown, be sure to stop in the main office. The following colleges will be at OTHS this month. Webster, McKendree, Lindenwood, and Valparaiso. Stop by Guidance to sign up. And then let's pass it over to Roby with your Panther Sports. Hey O'Fallon, I'm Roby with your Panther Sports. Yesterday was a sad day to be a Collinsville Cayhawk. Our boys volleyball team defeated them in two sets. Our girls soccer team also crushed them with an 8 to nothing win. Goalkeeper Kendall Joggers recorded her seventh straight shutout, and their defense remains unmatched, having given up zero goals all season. Fantastic work, Panthers. In softball news, our Lady Panthers lost their non-conference game to Plainfield, 16-4. Yesterday, our boys lacrosse team brought home their first win of the season, defeating Normal High School, 8-5. Nice work, boys. Sadly, our girls lacrosse team fell to Francis Howell Central in a close 10-6 game. In today's sporting events, our boys tennis team is on the road again against Triad. Our softball team is at home against Marquette, and our undefeated girls soccer team takes on conference rival Edwardsville. Pop out to the pack to cheer on the team. Game time is 6.45. That's all for me. Now over to the birthdays and Roll Panthers. Hey O'Fallon, I'm Kenan with the birthdays. Birthdays for Monday, are April 10th were Brent Cooley, Emily Hasberger, Caden Miller, Cheyenne Ozy, Annabella Schmidt, and Jordan Thomas. And a special happy birthday to Miss Fortier, Miss Haskett, and Mr. Harrington. Birthdays on Tuesday were Kiriana Stahl, Maya Tippett, and Preston Ward. And a special happy birthday to Mr. Malvin. Birthdays yesterday were Amanda Cheney, Chance Coleman, Eliza Eddy, Jordan Gunter, Mia Hardiman, Michael Hardiman, Anya Kenny, Heather Kenny, Alejandro Otero, Jonathan Reed, Nolan Sawyer, Colin Scarbrough, Cooper Scarbrough, and Kevin Winters. Birthdays for today are Johan Ashford, Cooper Denny, Aileen Dixon, Anna Gabriel, Brennan Nolan, Ben Shepard, Mackenzie Stacker, and Joseph Starks. That's all for me. Now let's pass it back to the news desk. And now for your club news. Who needs a summer job? The Collinsville Aqua Park is hiring. Apply to work in concessions as a lifeguard, as a camp counselor, or as a manager. Pay is $14 to $16 an hour. Visit the Collinsville website for more information. Chem Club meets tomorrow after school in room 811. Contact Ms. Stamer with questions. Spanish Club and Cultural Mix meet today after school in room 310 to discuss the upcoming Pulsera project and culture fair. Contact Senior Sanchez for questions. Yoga Club meets today after school in the Panther Center. Everyone is invited. Bring snacks to share and contact Ms. Bittner with any questions. FBLA members, be sure to check your email and remind messages. There is time-sensitive information about general membership and the state competition. Vincent, have you ever thought about the history of Easter? No, but it is my favorite holiday after all. Well, here's Jackson Morris on the history of Easter. Hey, O'Fallon, I'm Jason. I'm here in front of this wide door. And we're going to ask people Easter trivia questions today. I'm going to ask you, where is the most popular Easter parade held every year? Uh, 
I don't know, like Jerusalem or something? Uh, huh? <laughs> Not quite. I'll give you a hint. It is in the United States. It's a big city. Uh, New York City. Bingo! Woo! And um, what is the best thing you've ever won from an Easter egg hunt? Probably like a Kit Kat or, yeah, probably like a Kit Kat. And, okay, that works. The question today is, do you celebrate Easter? Yeah. And what is your best strategy going into an Easter egg hunt? Look in the places that you don't think they would actually be in. Good strategy. What is the best thing you've ever gotten from an Easter egg hunt? Chocolate. Who would win in a fight? You or a jacked Easter bunny? A jacked Easter bunny. Today I'm going to ask you, where did the legend of the Easter bunny originate from? Uh, maybe from the Velveteen Rabbit. Did what country? Oh, what country? Ooh, Germany or... Yes, Germany. Germany? That's right. See, I lived in Germany. So Did you? Are, are, are you sure you're right? I'm right. Okay, he's right. I did and live in Germany as a kid. Second question. Okay. What is your favorite Easter candy? Ooh, anything chocolate. Chocolate? Good answer. Chocolate. Thank I you. I don't like peas. Me neither. Thank I you. I don't like peas. You're welcome. Reporting for Panther Beat, this is Jason Morris. Thanks, Jason. That's it for today, O'Fallon. For up-to-date news, videos, and more, head over to our Panther Beat YouTube channel. Hey, O'Fallon. Easter just passed. We want to know what you guys did for Easter. So what do you do for Easter? Um, on Easter, if I get up early enough, I'll go to church and worship our Lord. And, and um, after that, I go over to my grandma's house, and the whole family goes over for Easter dinner and an egg hunt that I win every year. <laughs> what do you do for Easter? For Easter, I go out with my family and I go to church. Praise the Lord. What are you doing for Easter? Um, I'll probably go to church and then all of my like family and neighbors will come over for brunch. So what do you do for Easter? We go to my grandmother's house and we have a dinner. What do you do for Easter? Um, I go to church and then I have a lunch with my family. 